Hi Libra, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your general reading for the month of September 2022. This is going to be for any Libra looking for any guidance and messages in their daily lives. Remember Libra, if this doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other videos coming up for you soon. So please do take what resonates out of the video and leave out the rest, okay? This is going to be for Sun, Moon, and Rising Libras, okay? And remember if you want to check out my other videos i have my loved ones coming up uh, in the next few weeks for october so please do check that out it'll be uh, a really nice read so libra let's begin with your reading today i'm going to start off with one card from the moonology oracle deck here then we're going to do three jumbo cards from the rider weight jumbo rider weight plus we're going to do some clarifiers with the smaller rider weight okay all right, so Libra, let's begin with your reading. Let's figure out what we need to know for you for the month of September. Universe, please give me a clear message here for Libra for the month of September, please. What does Libra need to know for the month of September? <clears throat> what messages are here for Libra, please, for the month of September? And guys, it's always a chill vibe here with me. We don't take ourselves too seriously here, okay? So let's just have a good time and we'll see what's coming up for you. So... Let's figure out what we need to know for Libra, please. Universe, let's get a clear message for Libra. What does Libra need to know, please? Okay, we'll take the top one. All right, Libra, we have prosperity lies ahead. It's the new moon in Taurus. There you are. So, money coming up for you. Promotion, something big. You're going to be making money. You're going to be saving money. You're going to be receiving an inheritance, possibly. Prosperity lies ahead. So let's figure out what this all is about, what this entails. <clears throat> you may be getting that new job. You may be moving into that new home. Whatever prosperity means to you could also be family and relationships. But I'm thinking you're going to see a lot more pentacles in this reading. Okay, so let's figure out what we need to know here for you, Libra. Universe, let's get a clear message here for Libra, please. Let's begin with your reading. The Libra, we're going to draw three cards. Your first card out will be, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. So definitely an energy of you having to... Put out too much work, you're exhausted about something, you may be strained somehow. I'm feeling like a lot of you have been working really hard this month to the point where you've let things slide or, you know, you have been not focusing too much on your own overall self here, except for what you're doing in terms of work. You feel pressure here. You feel that you need to meet some sort of deadline here. There's some stress. I'm getting that you're stressed out for some of you. Let's figure out more about what's going on for you, okay? All right, we have the three of wands for you next. So you're looking into something in the future. You're seeing something happening here. You're motivated to take charge into a new uh, path for yourself, okay? Some of you may be planning something. Again, this could be a career move. This could be a new home. This could be uh, some sort of challenge for you that is new for your life right now, that you're going through right now. And you're slowly starting to plan. You're starting to see things kind of slowly take a uh, form here for yourself here for this month uh, after all of that hard work and stress that you haven't been able to really uh, relax from and for some of you you may still be working this hard you may still be working towards some sort of goal that you are focused on right now a lot of uh, energy of positive energy but moving forward but also seeing into the future, seeing what's next, seeing what's coming up for you, okay? Being optimistic as well with the situation. So your last card will be the Six of Pentacles. I'm getting here that some of you may be receiving money, like I said. This is a card where you'll be taking in something. Someone will be giving you something. You may be earning something. You may be taking from someone. There may be inheritance coming up for you. There may be a sale of a home where you receive money here. You may make a profit on uh, some sort of sale here. For others, you get that promotion. You get that job promotion. You may be rewarded for a project that you're working on. Whatever this is, prosperity is following you through for this month and continuing on for you, okay? 
So let's find out more about each card. I'm going to do a more in-depth reading here. We're going to start off with some clarifiers. For each card, we're going to start off with the Ten of Wands in reverse for you. So Libra, let's find out what we need to know here for you for this month. Please, universe, give me more info on this Ten of Wands in reverse for Libra, please. What else do we need to know here about Libra for September? Please give me some clarifiers for the Ten of Wands in reverse, please. What does Libra need to know for this month? What does Libra need to know for this month, please? Okay. I am getting that out. So it's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse for you. I'm getting here. You may be motivated by success. And that's what's kind of bringing you all this stress. You're really hoping for the best here for yourself. You want the best. I'm getting a sense here of being overworked, being uh, envious of other people in other situations here, not having enough for yourself, which is your motivation for stressing out and working this hard about something, okay? All right. Your next card out is the Eight of Cups in reverse. You want to move away from this situation emotionally. Perhaps you're not thinking more anymore about with your emotions, and this is more of a kind of uh, logically that you're going through right now when it comes to working this hard. You may also be focused on uh, not so much the emotional side, so you aren't invested emotionally into this, even though you're putting a lot of work through to it. I'm getting here that it's just clockwork for you and you're just putting this out or doing this and finishing, completing tasks and just moving on, okay? Almost like a robot for some of you, all right? Okay, next is the Page of Cups in uh, next for you, clarifying. So I do see here for you, Libra, that a lot of you may feel, um, you may feel delighted about this. So in a sense, even though you're being overworked and you're stressed out here, there could be someone here that's helping you out in this situation. Someone with a younger energy that's more vibrant here. Someone who may be putting you through all these goals. So someone can be overlooking you. Someone can be assisting you with something. And I'm getting that's kind of helping you out here, okay? For others, uh, you've invested emotionally into situations in the past here and you've been disappointed. So you tend not to really think about it that way uh, because you don't wanna be disappointed in yourself here. And so you've moved away from that. And like I said, you're thinking more like a robot. You're just trying to get things done and you are getting help and at least some sort of motivation from the people around you. Someone here that's close by, someone here that may bring you a little bit of joy here, okay? There may be a child here for some of you that you're dealing with here or someone that you're looking after that could also be your motivation. So you may be wanting to take care of them and making sure that everything their needs are taken care of. And therefore you're motivated here to make sure that they get the best here, okay? Because you care about this person. So let's see what else is next here. We have the Three of Wands for you. Universe, let's get some more clarifiers for the Three of Wands for you, please. What else is coming up for Libra, for the Three of Wands? Universe, please give me a clear message here. We have the Queen of Wands. Did I say Queen of Wands? I did, I think Three of Wands. I said, did I accidentally say Queen before it popped up? That's crazy, but we'll have to check the video again. Um, so, Queen of Wands next for you. There is this energy of feeling blocked creatively and needing to choose this new path for yourself. <clears throat> some of you I'm getting here are upset about something. There's a little bit of anger here or resentful. You're feeling some sort of resentment towards someone or an individual uh, or a project or a workplace here. There's some negative energy that you've had to deal with in the past here. Could be boss energy you're dealing with as well. Remember Queen of Wands, fire energy. So uh, Sagittarius, Leo or Aries here. But Libra, I'm definitely seeing for a lot of you that you may be wanting to take on more now 
than you used to be taking on or you're not able to take it on just yet until you figured out your full plans and right now you're only at the beginning of these plans okay and so let's see what else is coming up for you universe please give me a clear message here for the three of wands please let's get some more clarifiers for the three of wands okay we have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. This planning that you're doing or what you're looking forward to or this new path that you're setting for yourself, it's going to be a steady path. You may be receiving something uh, as an offer from somebody here. So again, like I said, we have possibility of promotion, upgrades here, receiving some sort of inheritance or some sort of profit from a sale here which is going to carry you through for a little bit for this month. And I'm getting for you that a lot of you are being careful with your money and being very cautious. Okay. Your next card is the judgment in reverse because you've made mistakes in the past here and you don't want to repeat those mistakes anymore. You've realized what you've done in the past and what mistakes you've made and you don't want to do that same thing again and repeat all over again. Some of you are still holding on to certain things from the past year that are creating some sort of uh, confusion for you. But I'm getting here because money is the motivation. A lot of you feel as if, you know, there's really no room for mistakes at this point. You are pretty certain and you're going to be consistent and you're going to follow through with this plan. So moving on to the six of pentacles. Let's see what's coming up next for you. Universe, let's get more clarifiers for the Six of Pentacles, please. What does Libra need to know here? What is coming up for Libra, please, for September? Oh, we have the Two of Cups. So there could be a relationship here coming up for you. There could be some sort of bond here between you and someone, which is the reason why you'll be receiving uh, some sort of money here. You may have assistance from someone who you already know at work who's going to land you this job. So it could be a close friend or a relative here or even a lover here that's helping you out in this situation. Okay, you may be focused on a business as well with uh, someone that you're close with. And this is someone who you trust, who you trust financially with. And you also trust on an emotional level as well. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be someone that you have a unique bond with, okay? So let's see what else we know here. For We need to know here for you, Libra. Universe, please, let's get some more clarifiers for Libra, please. We have two more, and those are your last two, so we'll take them both. Your next card out is the Devil in Reverse. I'm feeling like you've... You've suffered through some hardships in the past year. You've gone through some things in your life that you're not necessarily proud of. Or even this person who you were dealing with in the past, maybe things haven't always worked well with you and them. Maybe you didn't see eye to eye on certain things. And they have maybe have gone through a rough patch in their life. So alcoholism, some sort of addictions, or some sort of bad habits that they may be keeping here bad influences they may have lost money from gambling here but whatever this is i'm seeing that they're coming out of this they're releasing this energy now could be you could be them all right because moving in we have the last card clarifying is the nine of pentacles this is a very clear energy of uh having abundance here and living your life to its fullest there's an independent free energy here of wealth and freedom here okay you are very much going to be enjoying uh these gifts for yourself and all these profits and all this prosperity coming towards you so even though you may feel guilty about this or you've suffered in the past or maybe vice versa with someone who you're dealing with here you will definitely be living your life uh on a new level here for this next month coming into this month okay so there will be an adjustment for some of you, of course, but it seems to me like things are moving as planned here and things are going to be looking better for you. So we're going to get one card at the bottom of the deck for advice. We have the King of Pentacles, but in reverse. So as your advice card for the reading, Libra, be careful with some of your spending habits. 
you don't want to be going and doing some ridiculous, making some ridiculous purchases here or throwing your money away uh, just out of pride here. You need to still be cautious with how you're spending your money and what you're doing with it because even though prosperity may come into you, you know, it can easily be gone as well. Uh, just like when you win the lottery, not necessarily a lot of people keep all that money for a long time here. So in either way for you, it's best to be a little bit more modest with your spending. Okay, I wouldn't say frugal, but just be modest and know that, you know, there will be tough times coming in the future, regardless of how you are right now. So be prepared for that. Okay, all right, Libra, I hope you are enjoying the reading. Thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll have more readings coming up for you soon. Don't forget to check out my Halloween one coming up for October. Guys, I really do appreciate you being here till the end. Thanks for watching and bye for now.